Mix. What is poppin' in my people? My name is Darian from Look North Recordings. I produce and mix for artists that are trying to push their sound into the future. For today's video, we're gonna touch on three mindset changes that I've used to continue working throughout this, this giant world lockdown situation and how you can optimize your productivity in times like this where you can't go out to networking events, you can't go to shows and meet people. So if you stick around, you'll get those three tips and they'll help you keep your productivity up, keep crushing your goals in times where all seems lost, I guess. <laughs> But first I got some mixes I gotta finish. I uh, got my caffeine ready to go. And let's check out the setup. Tip one for the vocalists, singers, rappers out there. Since y'all are probably gonna be doing a little bit more home recording with this whole quarantine thing going on, I challenge you to ask yourself, what am I doing to make sure I have the best possible recording I can get to send to the engineers or the collaborators I'm working with. And what I mean by that is, from start to finish, are you thinking about what does my room sound like? What's the best mic for my voice? Um, what kind of interface am I using? Like those, those are some things that really make a huge difference in the files that you end up sending to your engineer or the person you're collaborating with on a project. I actually made an ebook if you want to check it out. It's a start to finish checklist of all of the vocal pre production things that you would need to know to make sure you get the cleanest possible signal to send as a file to your engineer or a person you're collaborating with. I'm gonna put it in the description below if you wanna check that out. I'll send it directly to your email, super quick and easy, and you can literally go through that entire checklist and make sure you're good to go. I do think that is a good mindset to have going into this quarantine. Tip number two for artists, it seems to be that we have a little bit more time to chill, watch some Hulu. Don't get me wrong, I be, I be messing with Hulu, okay? I be watching me some Dave, all right? I'm, I've been messing with Dave lately. But I feel like this is a really good time for y'all honing in on your craft. And I'm not just saying like, practice your instrument, practice vocals. I mean like, think about things that need a little bit more emphasis now than before, like marketing. I feel like if we all took this time to flex our marketing muscles a little bit more, um, learn about it, read some books on it. I'm actually reading a book called Primal Branding right now, which is like really giving me some insight on the brands that we just think of on a daily basis and why we think of them that way. There's more people on social media right now than like ever. So I feel like the more you're taking advantage of that opportunity, the better time you're gonna have, I think. But also not to downplay actually practicing your instrument or your vocals because that is also very important. You know, you don't wanna show up to a collaboration or a session and not have your lyrics or not have practiced your own songs and stuff like that. You know, I mean, this is obviously pretty obvious stuff, but I feel like the overall thing I'm trying to say with this tip is to hone in on your craft and practice and work on the things that should be accentuated in a time where people aren't walking outside and more people are on social media. You know what I'm saying? Let me also show you all some of my favorite gear I have in my setup. 
for recording vocals, this is my favorite stuff. I got the uh, DIY RE CP5 preamp with a um, little saturation module that I can use when I'm recording bass or vocals and kind of dial it in as much as I want. This preamp right here, the Chameleon Labs 560, is literally my favorite 500 series preamp like ever that I've ever used. It's also an EQ at the same time though. The 16 kilohertz band right here is literally butter, butter. Like on a vocal that I feel like needs a little bit more air, you can just crank the absolute nuggets out of that thing and it never gets harsh and I am endlessly thankful for that. And sometimes in my vocal recordings, when I want to just trim off some uh, peaks with a really like transparent kind of compression, I'll use my really nice compressor. I actually got the, the really nice and the really nice leveling amplifier. They both sound very different, but this one's really good uh, recording on the way in with the super nice button on. It's literally the cleanest compressor. It gets stuff sounding real fat, just going right in, and you don't have to do as much compression after the fact if you can get the settings pretty good. So, super thankful for that thing. Tip number three, this is important. Um, Definitely take this time to show your family members. I know this sounds kind of lame. I don't, I don't think you were expecting to hear this in the video, but I do think showing love to your family members, staying close to your friends, connect with all the friends you have online, because with this crisis happening right now, keeping the people you love close to you is really important because there's actually people dying out here. There's people with their lungs getting permanently damaged out here from this uh, C word going around right now. And I think as artists, we work a lot. Like, let's just put it that way. We work too much sometimes because when you're really passionate about something, you want to put that at the top of your priorities. A lot of times we overlook the important people in our lives because we're, we're working on our craft. But I think this is a really good time to reconnect with people, set aside some time to chill, because this is really the time to be doing it. This is really a time where we can both focus on our craft and focus on the people we love, because that is very important. One of the better tips I would give out of the three for y'all. So definitely think about that. Hope you all got a lot of value from this video. I hope the three tips helped you out and helped you frame your mind in a way that's gonna help you still complete all of your goals during this C word situation going on right now. If you like what you saw, go ahead and just turn the threshold down to negative 30 and then just turn the attack all the way to one millisecond and compress that like button for me guys just out here trying to drop gems on people so i mean if you feel so inclined go ahead and subscribe i'm gonna be doing weekly videos it looks like i have so much extra time at home i'm gonna be able to film more videos so looking forward to that hope you are as well and then also if you want to follow me on instagram my handle is at look north recordings that's it for the video y'all catch you in the next one Happy music making my peeps. LNR on the mix.